Welcome to my lecture online. The next concept is calculating the force on a submerged wall, and of course it would be the force due to a liquid pushing against the wall. So we draw a picture, we have the width of the wall, we have the depth of the liquid, that would be the height of the column of water that's pushing against the wall, and now we're trying to find the force on that wall. And we have to remember that the pressure varies as we go further down into the liquid. So because of varying pressure, we may want to think about trying to integrate this. So what we're going to do is calculate the force on a small little segment of the wall that has the width W, same as the width of the wall, but a small little height dy, and it's at a depth of y. We should know that the equation for a force can be found by the equation of pressure. Pressure is force divided by area, so therefore when we solve this for force, we get force equals pressure times area. So that means that the pressure on the small little segment right here can be called a DF, a small amount of force. I should say force, not pressure, but a small amount of force. And that's equal to the product of the pressure at that depth times the area of that small little segment. And of course, the pressure that depth is going to be equal to rho gy. And that will then be the area of that small little strip. And then if we then integrate that all the way from zero, the top of the pool, all the way down to the bottom, then we get the total force on the entire wall. So we know that rho g and w are all constants. They come outside the integral sign. We simply have y dy left. When we integrate, we get y squared over 2. When we plug in the limits, we end up with the equation for the force of a submerged wall, which is the density times acceleration to gravity times the width of the wall times the height squared divided by 2. Now it turns out since the relationship between pressure and depth is linear, so as you go down further, it's simply the pressure increases as a function of depth. Therefore, we can also find the equation by taking the average pressure on the wall times the area of the whole wall. And the average pressure would be the, the pressure at the halfway point. So therefore, it would be 1 half rho gh, that's the average pressure, multiplied times the area of the wall, and we end up with the very same equation. So finding the force on the submerged wall is relatively easy. We can either use this, or we can do the integral and find out what the equation is that way. And that is how it's done.